guys, thank you so much for joining us today. I'm Abby Wilt, I'm an assistant digital editor here at Southern Living, and I'm joined by JJ Karras, who is an on-air lifestyle entertaining expert, and today she's gonna show <laughs> us three super easy picnic summer crafts, yes, right? Thank you, what an amazing backdrop we have yeah, isn't here amazing? in the Southern Living props studio. Yeah, it's right. actually all of the timing brands. So we have like thousands of dishes and plates and If you and guys can see what we're surrounded with, and incredible. maybe after we do this craft, we can do a sneak peek as yeah. we walk. So, okay, let's start. So it's picnic season, right? And I have an eight-year-old and a six-year-old and they love to go outside. And I was like, we have to come up with some DIY crafts that are inexpensive, that everyone can do, yeah. from children all the way up to adults. So let's get started because I'm so excited. I am so excited. Um, crazy salad, such a hit in the summer. And yes. I'm gonna show you, we have made ladybug crazy salad. Oh my good gracious. Right. And they're Look so easy. Okay. And they're so, so cute. So let's start, we each have our cutting board, we have our knife, grab some fresh basil, and this is the truth, I'm gonna give an insider tip because this came from her garden outside your office. Am yes. I saying that right? Yes, I have I a thought small she was herb kidding. garden. <laughs> I thought she was kidding. And I was like, she, she walked in with it. And I said, did you really just bring this from your office? So anyways, here we go. Oh, it smells, it smells so, so good. good. It just smells like summer, fresh basil. So what you do is pull it off, just pull it off and you can just make any, really any type of design you'd like. So these are gonna be just like the little leaves that the ladybugs are sitting on. Exactly. Right? We are just gonna bring the outdoors in right now. Oh, if y'all could smell this right now. I know, it this smells, smells so, so delicious. Amazing. You're a good um, grower there. Have you been doing this for a while? <laughs> Have you been, is this a natural yeah, um, hobby of yours? Because wow. I mean, really you always need some fresh herbs, you know? And you make more friends when you can offer someone some fresh basil. That's true. Well, I mean, it's kind of good in a cocktail too, but we'll yes. stick to the, uh, the salad right now. Okay, so we've got our basil leaves and then mozzarella cheese. I'm going to tell you the ingredients so that the viewers yeah, can get it. Yeah, perfect. Mozzarella cheese, um, black olives, tomato, balsamic vinaigrette, and here is our finished product. Oh, just so the viewer gets look an at idea. Those. those are so adorable. Okay, so let's take our mozzarella. You get okay. it too. And what we're just gonna do, take our knife, and we're just gonna cut it to the size of the basil leaf. Okay. I'm gonna kinda do it in an oval. A square is really fine too. So this is fresh mozzarella. We're not using the, I guess you could use the sliced stuff if you yeah, didn't have access is, to the fresh stuff, but right, the fresh stuff. Fresh mozzarella, and we're just cutting it, whatever That's shape to your basil leaf. And also what I love about this is this does not take a lot of time maybe 10 or 15 minutes and you have such a cute appetizer it's unique it's on theme for the summer yeah and it's so fresh like these are all just such fresh ingredients and it's such fresh and it'll really wow your guests it is a complete crowd pleaser okay so i'm just gonna do two and oh you... i know i'm sorry i'm falling no, behind okay. hers is, hers is beautiful. <laughs> i spent goodness. too much time on cutting my leaves <laughs> no so we've got that in there and then i'm gonna start with the tomato i'm gonna give you two. Oh, thank you I'm gonna start with the tomato. So all you do is slice the tomato in half. Okay. And then turn it over and take your knife and about three fourths through the tomato, do a little slice, and then I'm just gonna wing it out at the end. Okay, so we're, do, we're doing this you from the top. I'm doing yeah. this. I'm gonna cut a little yes, slit. Cut a okay, little so slice, like that. And then Not take your knife and just kind of wing it out. Yeah, there you go. Like perfect. that. Yes, okay. It's perfect. Okay, and so there's the body. Great. Oh, right. these are just so adorable. They're so cute. So and then black olive for the head. And these are pre-sliced. I cut it in half. I'm gonna cut it again. Again, depending on the size of your basil leaf. Okay? So, so we've got our little he head. He is now coming to life. <laughs> he is ready to party. Okay. And we've got our <laughs> head. See? Wasn't Wait. that easy? Am I supposed to cut a little bit off this olive? Like yes, that? cut it in half. Okay. So if y'all are beginners like me, you too can make this. <laughs> no you worries. Too. You too can make this. Well, I had practice. There we go. There we go. Look, for a first time, <laughs> that's pretty beautiful. And your mozzarella looks better than mine too. I just like lots of cheese. Okay. Then for the um, the dots, I just chose balsamic vinegar. I'm gonna put this so we can both do it. Okay. So good. And then take um, the flat end. Okay. Dip it in. 
and then we're just gonna dot him. So we're gonna give him some more dots, dots, and you kind of have to do a few. Cute. So you're getting all the so flavors of your crazy, crazy salad, salad this year. Yes, you're getting all the flavors of the salad. You know what? It's healthy. It's a great appetizer. It's a low carb, and you're getting your veggie. And I just did three down uh, one oh. side of the tomato and three down. Well, I'm so sorry. I went too. crazy on the dots. Too. My you can, um, ladybug is very <sighs> speckled. I think I think you have a crap. I think it's like <laughs> just gorgeous. So there we have the caprese ladybug bites, as I'll call them. Perfect for your summer picnic. You can take a Tupperware container, stack them in here, and put in a picnic basket and go. And you're good to go. And, and you can kind of just like. When you go to serve these, like the guests can just pick it up, right? Pick up the little thing. leaf. Yes, and a I've seen it also um, under a cracker. But if you really want to go for a, lo a lower carb, look, yeah, our basil leaf works just fine. Perfect. Well. And very flavorful. Such a, oh, such a strong amazing. flavor. Oh, we love that. Okay, great. Are we ready for the next one? Are you guys enjoying this? Are we ready for the next one? Okay, this is so great um, for children, children's birthdays, and all around, just for a lot of outdoor backyard fun. We are going to show you how to ice down your summer drinks using water balloons. Oh my goodness. You know what happens after the ice melts, right? You get to throw the water balloons. Let's how it does that. Yes. We get to have a yes. party. Yes. We get to throw a party in the frost studio. Throw the water balloons. So depending on um, how hot it is, is when the real party would start. Okay. So we have, um, we just did sweet tea with lemon. You can, you know, what drink of choice, whatever yes. you'd like to use. And then I chose to just do two colors. You can make it very bright colored if you yeah. want to. Or to the theme of your party, maybe, if you're doing something theme. specific with a color palette. Exactly. Totally. Yeah. Summer picnic, I love red and white. I think it looks so good against greenery. So yeah. Red and white is one of my favorite. Patriotic as Patriotic well. Patriotic Memorial Day, July 4th. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, you could really get a lot of holidays in. So anyway, so you just take a water balloon, fill it with ice, and put it in the freezer. Now. I have done this where it's broken, so make sure when you freeze your water balloon, you put it in a bowl first. You don't just you okay. know, throw it in your freezer. Straight up. Yeah. Because if it pops, all that water just goes right down. So I've right. got it in a bowl. And it also kind of try to lay it flat in um, in the bowl because if you go like this, the ice will freeze in kind of an awkward right. shape, and then that's what you'll get. So, so easy, so you just so water easy. balloons. So are these regular balloons or are these special water balloons? Um, no, these are just, just, just regular balloons. Just regular balloons. I, like, um, I say kind of the larger the better because I think it looks so fun for a party. And then look, you can just stick your drinks in here. You wanna help and look it. at this, This is, these are just little mason jars yes. that have the lids attached. That way you can take them to go and you don't have to worry about spills. Yes. That's and awesome. We made them, should we show them how we did the twine around? Yeah. Extra yeah. Um, oh, that, a little extra glam. Yes, we'll do the twine and then I'm gonna say one more thing about the balloon. So all we did was so put in mason jars. I love mason jars, but I mean it's spill proof. Yeah. It's so great for outdoor entertaining. You can do know, plastic ones, glass lines too if um, not a lot of children around. Mm -hmm. And if, I guess if you're making a cocktail as well, like you have the ability to shake your you do. cocktail it's your very own jar. Mixer. It's your very own cocktail shaker. We so love us some mason jars. We just took twine. This had a little gold print, so just baker's Precious. twine works. I'll tie it around. We're just so doing little bows. Sure, you can do a bow or you can do a knot. You know, this would also be really cute as like a little party favor if you added a little tag. You know, right. like a little craft tag or. And so many also, options. I love mason jars. So many people have them. They're inexpensive and there's so many uses. You can, you know, store um, fruits and vegetables in afterwards. You can freeze something in there. Another fun activity with water balloons, um, you can put food coloring inside, okay? Ooh. But <laughs> I've done it, I have done it, and it does get a little messy, but it's so fun because then you open up, and as you can see here, I'm gonna show you when you can cut that the balloon so off, cool. okay? And think if this was blue or green or orange. I did it actually for my son's birthday, and the outside of the shell had frozen, but the inside was still water, and it looked like we had these big, crazy eyeballs. <laughs> that's, oh my that's goodness, that is so cool. That? Feel that. There's yeah, there's like a little bit yes. of water left in there. All color. Now, food coloring does get messy, so it's definitely an outdoor activity, I no mean, matter summer, what. I mean, summer, that's all right. That's yes. what summer's about, right? Yes, but it's such a that's great awesome. um, 
way to, such a creative way to ice down drinks. And then afterwards, of course, when they're melted, you have your water balloon fight. Yeah. And you've already blown up, you've already filled up all the balloons. Are you ready to go? Yeah. Okay. So should we Yeah, do... let's let's go on to our, our watermelon craft. Our watermelon craft because when you're having a picnic, you can't forget the picnic blanket, right? You cannot. Okay, no. let's go. So instead of going to buy a picnic blanket, we are going to make one ourselves. That is okay. so exciting because again, going with our like really inexpensive and easy theme. This yeah, is something you can totally do yourself it's at so low fun. cost. Yes. Um, I will say it does take, it can take up to, you know, maybe a good 12 hours to dry. So if you have a picnic for that evening, you need to start it the day before. That's my first good tip. Good to know. I'm gonna set my watermelon cup up right here. Um, I made three, and I think we're gonna demo the watermelon. These are all canvas drop cloths. Okay. You can get them at any hardware store. They're inexpensive, they're durable, and they're great for to use as a picnic blanket. And you can see the colors show up really well on this because it's white. So yes, it's even more vibrant. Canvas drop cloth. Oh, I love this. You've got a chevron pattern going on here. Yes. And all I did was take painter's tape. And you guys gonna see that, see that? How we did that? That's awesome. Okay, and all I did was take painter's tape, and it kind of appears three dimensional. I'm not sure how well we could see this on here, but it's because I did the lines um, diagonal and not straight across. So easy, painter's tape. This might look complicated. I'm telling you, this was so so easy to make. So you just tape it off. I'm just gonna do one just to give you an idea. All of the white lines were just painter's tape. That's it. And I kind of like that, like, some of them are really clean, but you know, some of them we've got like a little bit of paint coming through. It just right. makes it so much like just summer and fun and easy. Right. And it's not like you're going to have this forever. Yeah. Um, but then you're also not as worried about your kids spilling stuff. So right. So instead of taking a line, I want to show you this. Instead of doing a line straight across, like you would think to do, mm -hmm. see how I have this at an angle? I think that is what makes it cool and unique. Yeah, and your design possi possibilities are like endless with this because you could do any pattern you wanted. You could do really letters cool. or yes. 